Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Alphonsa of the Immaculate Conception. Saint Alphonsa was born on 19th August 1910 to Joseph and Mary Mutatu Padatu in Pudamalur and was baptized Anna. As a child, Anna was so fascinated by the life of Saint Teresa of Lisieux that she set herself the twin objective of becoming a nun as well as a saint through the practice of prayer and penance. However, an aunt who had brought her up since the untimely death of her mother had marriage in mind for her. Resolved never to marry, Anna planned to disfigure herself by putting her foot in a big fire. But she accidentally slipped and fell right into the fire. Her recovery from the resultant burns was eventually followed by the necessary ascent from her aunt to fulfill her dream. Anna's preparation for entering religious life entailed further study and so it was only in 1928 that she was finally able to join the Claris convent in Baranangam as a postulant taking the name Alfonsa. She received the habit in the year 1930, entered the novitiate in 1935 and took her vows on the 12th of August 1936. Incidentally, illness in various forms as well as misunderstandings and helplessness were to dog her life and formation. Yet, her virtues of steadfastness, concern and patience, coupled with a fervent devotion to Saint Teresa and Blessed Curiacos Elias Chavara, stood her in good stead. At one stage in life, she was also in a state of shock for some time after a thief broke into a convent. giving her a severe fright interestingly her recovery was marked with the return of her ability to read which she had lost months earlier she was also suddenly found to be gifted with proficiency in tamil a language she had not known earlier in time sister alfonsa came to be known for certain special characteristics like the gift of foreknowledge people sought her advice and in her generosity of heart particularly towards those who misjudged her or disliked her she was a source of great amazement and edification to all in 1945 in answer to a prayer for further suffering alfonsa experienced bouts of convulsions whereby she was unable to eat despite feeling hungry initially these convulsions came on a friday each spell lasting some 3 to 7 hours but out of consideration for others she asked and received from the lord the favor that the attacks may occur at specific times when this prompted her superiors to suggest that she should pray for permanent relief she answered i am ready to suffer not only this but anything amazingly her sufferings notwithstanding she generally appeared merely tired causing those who visited her to forget her actual physical condition sister alfonsa breathed her last on the 28th of july 1946 just 3 weeks before her 36th birthday she was beatified on the 8th of february 1986 at kottayam kerala by pope john paul ii during his pastoral visit to india and was canonized by pope benedict the 16th at st peter's in rome on the 12th of october 2008